The recent flooding in Madagali Adamawa State has reopened old wounds, bringing back painful memories of Boko Haram's 2014 attacks. Madagali, the first council to fall to Boko Haram, now sees its flawed victims relieving the trauma of displacement as many find themselves in camps once again facing their second round of forced exile. Gifsim Swadigo reports. Once displaced by insurgents, the people of Madagali now face a new crisis, devastating floods. This Margis speaking community in Adamawa state, which Boko Haram attacked in 2014, once served as a base for the group as they seized more areas. After the insurgency, survivors returned to rebuild their homes while others resettled in host communities. Now, their resilience is being tested again by nature's ferry. Boko Haram is far better than this one. Because Boko Haram shoots gone. You can hear the gun. You can know the direction where to follow. But this one just comes accidentally. As I've shown you, I've got all bruises when I was running to be sure that I make, I save lives here. So that thing, Boko Haram is far better than this one. We need food. We need relief materials for these people. We need, we need medicine, drugs. We need medicine. This is our clinic. This is our health staff. We need clinic. We need medicine for the, for the staff. Godia Munda who returned to Madagali less than six months ago to rebuild her life has been hit hard by the recent flood that wiped out everything she worked for. Now, she's back in the camp at Central Primary School Shua. Like others there, she faces the heartbreaking task of starting over yet again, rebuilding a home for the second time. The conditions here are very different from what we are used to at home. The people at the camp are suffering because there are few facilities to make them comfortable. Even if we were to return home, there would be no place to sleep and our animals and clothes are gone. We are just here putting our trust in God. Sharing insights into the flood devastation, the administered government's emergency unit revealed that the camp established in response to the crisis continues to swell as more people arrive due to relentless downpour. The flood has forced an increasing number of residents to seek refuge, adding strength to the already overwhelmed calm. Yesterday, heavy downpour affected many houses and farmland, where about 215 people were affected by this uh, flood uh, between uh, Urogandi and Kopa community. And now we are planning to go to Palam, maybe in the evening. We will go to Gulag and Madagali to go for assessment. The Bodhya Munda and her fellow victims, the challenge ahead is clear. Rebuilding their homes once the rain ceases and the flood waters recede. The path to recovery will be long, but they remain determined to start over yet again. Gibson Soadugu, Trust TV News, Yola.